Good Friday morning from NASA's Johnson Space Center. This is Mission Control Houston. You're looking at the International Space Station Flight, Contru flight Control Room uh, from the uh, uh, front left of the room, uh, looking across the consoles of flight controllers that are overseeing all of the systems on board the International Space Station. The uh, team has been on console since about 7 o'clock uh, this morning, Friday morning central time, and today once again, as with uh, the entire week, has been led uh, by Flight Director Royce Renfrew, who uh, you see standing there. He is the uh, Flight Director for this shift all week. He's joined uh, to his right by Hal Getzelman, who's serving as the spacecraft communicator, the uh, communications link between the flight control team and the crew uh, on board the International Space Station. The uh, ISS is uh, currently tracking southeasterly toward the uh, coast of Mauritania, uh, having made a pass uh, across the North Atlantic and now uh, headed down across portions of Africa before moving into an orbital uh, sunset in about 30 minutes or so. From this uh, vantage point of 240 miles above the Earth, the station is circling the Earth every uh, hour and a half or so, uh, offering an orbital sunrise and sunset uh, uh, every orbit, every 45 minutes as the station uh, circles around the globe with uh, the uh, uh, crew members uh, on board uh, serving as the Expedition 30 crew, uh, continuing uh, in their uh, Friday, which began about 1 o'clock in the morning. That crew consists of uh, Commander Dan Burbank, who is a U.S. astronaut uh, that launched with two Russian uh, colleagues, Anton Shkoplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin, back uh, in November of 2011. Those three crew members are slated to uh, return home at the end of April. The other three crew members on board uh, joining them are Oleg Konyenko, Andrei Kuipers, who is from the Netherlands, and U.S. astronaut Don Pettit. Uh, they launched and joined uh, the other three crew members in late December, and they're scheduled to uh, return home in early July. The first three crew members uh, enjoying their 125th day in space today, 123 of those aboard the International Space Station. The, uh, quote, youngest three of the uh, six, uh, Kononenko, Kuipers, and Pettit, uh, are in their 87th day in space, 85 of those uh, aboard the International Space Station. Uh, Burbank uh, Friday has uh, spent almost exclusively his time working with cable routing associated with the high-rate communications system. Uh, this uh, procedure routes KU communications uh, to a joint station local area network and a secondary KU uh, communications unit avionics power cable along with two multiplexer demultiplexer cables on board as well. These are located behind one of the avionics racks in the Destiny Lab requiring the rack to be rotated forward for access. Pettit uh, spent more time with uh, investigations into how uh, flames are controlled. He did most of that on Thursday, uh, wrapping up all of that activity, which uh, helps investigators on the ground uh, lead to improvements in technologies uh, aimed at reducing pollution emissions while also improving burning efficiency for a wide variety of industries. Kuipers has been working on stowage in and around the Leonardo Permanent Multipurpose Module. He's also used the onboard uh, ham radio equipment to uh, make contact with middle school students uh, in Belgium. Russian crew members conducted research and housekeeping chores that included uh, uh, work in the Zvezda service module on its ventilation system cleaning. They've been collecting periodic routine air samples as well, and they've also conducted some Earth observation as part of their timeline, uh, which is part of an experiment to record color bloom patterns in the waters of the central eastern Atlantic. This weekend, the crew will essentially be off duty, but uh, will conduct routine housekeeping chores, exercise. They'll check some autonomous uh, payloads on board to ensure they're operating properly. And they'll also have time to talk and visit with their uh, family and friends back here on Earth. Uh, while all of that's going on on orbit, down here on the ground, uh, preparations for launch of the third automated transfer vehicle are continuing down in South America at the Ariane Space Facility in Kourou. The Eduardo Amaldi, as it's named, currently is set for launch next Thursday, uh, Thursday night central time, pending completion of the ongoing launch readiness review, which should wrap up uh, Friday.
The launch at 11.34 p.m. Central Time, March 22nd, leads to rendezvous and docking with the station at 5.34 p.m. Central Time, Wednesday, March 28th, delivering supplies and logistics uh, to the station's Expedition 30 crew. So that's uh, all the activities that are ongoing, and uh, uh, that'll uh, keep the crew busy throughout uh, the rest of Friday as the team of flight controllers uh, around the world watch over the crew uh, throughout the day. Uh, it's been a, a very busy week aboard the uh, ISS uh, for the six-member crew. Uh, spread, uh, the crew members spread throughout the 13,000 cubic uh, foot facility, conducting science investigations, housekeeping chores, internal robotic ops, and uh, Earth observations. The uh, uh, following last week's robotic refueling mission work by the station's Dexter uh, robot on the end of the robotic arm outside, internal, the seventh crew member of the station, Robonaut 2, demonstrated its own dexterity by signing Hello World to the Earth below. R2 also proved useful later in the week in grasping an instrument used periodically to measure air ventilation within the Destiny Laboratory. It was the first time R2 conducted a task that wasn't considered a checkout item. R2 will rest for a while as ground engineers plan his next moves uh, on orbit uh, aboard the station. Quite a bit of uh, Don Pettit's week was devoted to the uh, flame experiment on board, a, investigating the nature of flames and microgravity and uh, how they uh, uh, progress as uh, experimenters can evaluate that data for uh, uh, development of systems on the ground. Andre Kuipers uh, was busy this week with uh, cardiovascular uh, equipment on board, an experiment uh, that develops uh, countermeasures to help uh, crew uh, uh, maintain their health on board. He also worked with the fluid physics experiment facility on the station. The Russian crew members uh, uh, also worked uh, with experiments and investigations on board the station as well as Earth observations and uh, also some work with the communication systems in one of the Russian segment modules. Commander Dan Burbank uh, also uh, uh, worked with the U.S. spacesuits this week, uh, checking them out to make sure they're in good working order in the event a spacewalk uh, is needed on board. There are no plans for an EVA or extravehicular activity until Expedition 32 and 33 later in the year. Midweek, uh, Burbank and Pettit, uh, flanked by their seventh crew member, Robonaut, talked about their mission with Fox News Channel's America's Newsroom, and they also have some additional media interviews scheduled next week ahead of the uh, automated transfer vehicle launch. So uh, it's been a busy week in space with teams around the world assisting the crew uh, from here on the ground. The weekend, the crew This weekend, the crew will essentially be off duty, but will conduct some routine chores on board, exercise, check some payloads, and also uh, talk with their friends and family. Uh, we'll be back again uh, next week with another week of coverage of Expedition 30's voyage aboard the uh, International Space Station. Have a great weekend, everybody. This is Mission Control Houston.